Okay, but two of the shooters already stood over him while the third shooter was trying to get his friends. He covered his head with his arm and took like six more shots when he moved. I ain't buying it. I'm not buying this shit, bro. I need to see the footage. I'm not buying this shit, man. What fuck kind of Call of Duty Warzone shit is this? This nigga just said a nigga stood over, fool. Nigga stood over this man. He's still here, fool. I ain't buying this shit. Try to catch his balance, but fell over. As he was falling, he could still hear the gunshot. Nah, I ain't buying this shit. Then. Oh, oh, yeah. She think I'm cute. She wanna have sex. Katie, tune in to Live TV. We live off the rip. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We going crazy. Make sure y'all go to Supreme Katie 2. We doing live reactions over there. Knocking shit out. You know what I'm saying? Different topics. Pranks, whatever, cheating, and all thoughts, you know what I'm saying, shootouts, whatever, reactions over there. Two live channel, we just going live over there. You know what I'm saying, over here, it's music type shit, we going crazy. We got rappers called Lacking, Fulio, Young and A, Spot Em, Got Em, and more. We finna knock the video out, comment what y'all want to see next, because I'm knocking all that out. We going crazy, man. I told y'all that 300k subscribers, I'm giving away $3,000. So you tune in, get it back or not, it's up to you, you feel me? But let's do it, y'all boys on internet, let's get it, man, gang your location on social media anybody can just pull up let's check out a few rappers called lacken who learned this lesson the hard way spot him got him spot him got him is one of the hottest rappers coming out of florida he blew up back in 2020 with the hit beatbox which gained attention because of social media influencer junebug who made a viral dance to the song spot him got him may have with homie just twerking in the elevator fam uh, my train in front of what wine my nigga I, I know I just saw what I saw though, I ain't true. Have a baby face, but he's also about that life and almost got killed one night after leaving the studio. In the early morning on September 17th, 2020, Spot Em Got Em was driving a Dodge Challenger down I-95 in Miami when someone pulled up on him and started letting off shots. The rapper posted a pic to his IG story earlier showing himself at the House of Hits recording studio in Miami. While he was there, he also reposted a video from his producer showing him in the book. Tripping. I ain't even gonna lie, tripping. Cause y'all nigga know I rap, I ain't even talk too much about it. When I be in studios, bro, no matter what city we in, where we at, you're not posting the studio while I'm in here, fool. Like, my day one engineer, bro, like to go live. He'll like to go live during the recording process, but he already kind of know not to put me in the camera or play my music, so he don't really do it no more. But like, going live and Taking pictures where we at, my nigga, we not doing that. I don't even got to have no smoke or beef. You could be somebody without beef or smoke. You just been posting that chain that a little nigga want. He ain't got no money to a name, and you look like a stain to him. So I'm finna come where you at. You know what I'm saying? We moving low key. I ain't finna be letting niggas know where I'm at all the time, bro. Like, that, that y'all just don't know how dangerous this is, bro. Like, no cap. Like, that shit dangerous, bro. House of Hits That's is a popular anybody. studio in Miami, so it wouldn't be hard for anyone who knew the area to know his exact location. After leaving the studio, a car pulled up on the passenger side and fired 22 shots total. Spot him, got him, and another dude who was in the back seat both got hit. His attorney, Raven Liberty, later confirmed the rapper got shot but was still alive. She also made clear that it wasn't a shootout, it was a drive-by, and Spot him was the victim. There's multiple rumors going around about what exactly happened. Y'all yeah, police cars ugly as hell. Where is this at? Florida? Them hoes look like they supposed to be a ketchup pack or some shit like a goddamn sauce pack or something. That, Come that's to find out, it looks like the car they were driving in was stolen. Spot him said he wasn't part of stealing the car, but was just driving in it. After the shooting, a YouTuber came forward and said that he owned the car and it was stolen from him. The rapper was also recently involved in the murder that happened yeah, right, in Dallas, right, Texas. Stole he said he that. admitted to playing a part in killing a man named Reginald Agnew Jr. in a snippet to a song posted to social media. Spot him got him denied any involvement in the Hold on, they say Spot him was related to a what? A body? To find out, it looks like the car they were driving in was stolen. Spot him said he wasn't part of stealing the car, but was just driving in it. After the shooting, a YouTuber came forward and said that he owned the car and it was stolen from him. The rapper was also recently involved in a murder that happened in Dallas, Texas. Police said he admitted to playing a part in killing a man named Reginald Agnew Jr. in a snippet to a song posted to social media. Spot him got him denied any involvement in the murder and said the lyrics to the song had nothing to do with the case. But maybe this could be why his car got sprayed up. Spot him got him made a full recovery and is back to making music. But he might want to pay for better security or a bulletproof vehicle so he don't get caught lacking again. But you know it's crazy. Y'all rap niggas still think uh getting you some security make you make you a hoe, huh? So what being dead make you? If getting you some security make you a hoe, what 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 being what dying then? Dying to a nigga that pull up on you and show you he bought that light then. 
I mean, you got step. You what you trying to get stepped on? Cause as shit, each one of the two gonna happen, nigga. You ride around feel like you super invincible. You ain't invincible. Your name ain't God or Jesus. And this bullet can go through your ass a few times. You know what I'm saying? So either you gonna get some security or you gonna get stepped on. Either way it go, all that ride around, I'm, I'm, I'm in my hood. All right, we gonna be in your hood too. You know what I'm saying? You better relax, man. Y'all niggas better realize if you gonna be a celebrity, you gonna be a superstar, you need to move like such. And if my security just so happened to be right there and you with arm reach, I'm gonna beat your ass because I'm a grown man. I'm a real nigga. I'm gonna stand on morals, principle, and respect. Just because I got these people around here protecting me because I got something to live for don't mean I'm a hoe. I still do your ass like that, but I done made money now. I don't have to no more. I'm relaxing, bro. You get what I'm saying? Y'all niggas gonna keep thinking it, huh? Y'all you better use your mother here for you lose it thinking you too tough. Bottom no Bottom ain't the only rapper from Florida who got caught lacking. This next artist got shot getting off the bus after a rumor went around that he killed one of his ops. Fulio. Fulio is another one of the hottest rappers from Jacksonville. The rapper has been making moves for a few years now, but he really blew up from the diss tracks he and his rival Young and Ace dropped earlier this year. They've been beefing since 2017, but got the world's attention after Ace dropped a wild track, Who I Smoke, which had disrespectful bars about Fulio's dead brother and homies. Fulio came back with the track when I see you remix, where he also dissed Ace's dead friends and brother, and ever since then, they've been on each other's necks. But way before the beef with Young and Ace, Fulio beefed with another crew in Jacksonville, which led to him getting shot in ninth grade. In December 2014, a 14-year-old named Devron Crowden, aka Big Baby, was shot and killed waiting for the school bus. He and Fulio went to school together, and they was known to be from rival gangs. The high school that Fulio went to hey, was in Fulio his neighborhood, like a real so he was already right outnumbered. Though. After Big man. Baby got killed, rumors went around that he was somehow involved. Even though he told everyone it wasn't his hit, he was still young and dumb at the time. So, instead of staying out the way, Fulio started dissing Big Baby to prove to his ops. Hey, man. What, is that why? Because he from Florida, Jacksonville. Okay. They really got Haitians out there, huh? Like, and like, they they, they got to have the Haitians, Jamaicans, and, and shit like that. Because Lil Bro look like he, he could be one of them niggas. Look like he could be walking around with a green, yellow, and red uh, hat with, or smoking some za, Rasta big ass gun on, muscle shirt, and some big ass shorts. He look like he could be on that type of time. No cap. I'm probably mixing two different things together, but that's what this nigga look like. I'm not even gonna lie. He wasn't intimidated. He almost got into fights with three different people before getting on the bus to go home. When he got off the bus, he ducked off to an area in the cut to roll up some weed. Like five or 10 minutes later, someone ran up and started shooting at him. He got hit in the hip and it even popped out Damn. of place. So Damn. he started to crawl to avoid getting shot again and crawled to a house where a lady was sitting on the porch. Fulio called out to her and told her he was shot, but she wanted nothing to do with it. Instead of helping, she said she ain't care. You nigga having shields and some more shit, huh? I ain't never heard a nigga get shot in their head and move like that. Y'all nigga playing, bro. Y'all better, boy. Y'all boy playing. I understand how this shit go, though. Don't get it twisted. Just because I'm on YouTube telling y'all this and this and that. I understand the, re the, the real life, like the reality to these situations, bro. These niggas are just products of the environment. They outside dealing with this shit every day. Just, just, just doing what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? So I feel it. I understand people on the outside looking in can say, bro, just stop it. I understand it's been blood, been shed. I know, fool. But what I'm saying is, bro, y'all niggas just like, y'all don't understand, bro. Like, you don't understand, bro. It's more, it's more to life than this, nigga. Like, you already messing up. What's afterlife with this? You don't even know, nigga. It's, it's, it's supposed to be, I just told you it's more to life. Nigga, it's supposed to be more afterlife. You, you shortening both of them off. Tripping, nigga, tripping. This little shit work both. They tripping, bro. Yeah, nigga, tripping, bro. Cause I understand, bro. Like, I come on, man. Y'all nigga gotta wake up right here, bro. It's a bigger picture, nigga. It's a bigger picture. You little nigga just a scuff on the goddamn page, a scuff on the page. If that, it's a bigger picture, my nigga. But I mean, some people just don't care. It is what it is. Care, you know what I mean? Told him to get the fuck out of tripping, her yard. Bro. So he played dead until the shooters left. He ended up being brought to the hospital and got questioned by police about the murder. Damn, of getting shot and told I don't give a fuck. Get out of my yard. It's crazy. Or so he played dead. Boy getting shot again and crawled to a house where a lady was sitting on the porch. Fulio called out to her and told her he was shot, but she wanted nothing to do with it. Instead of helping, she said she didn't care and told him to get the fuck out of her yard. So he Damn. played dead until the shooters left. He ended up being brought to the hospital and got questioned by police about the murder of Big Baby. They grilled him pretty hard, but since he was on the way to school when Big Baby got killed, he was cleared of any involvement. 
After he recovered, he decided not to go back to school because he was too much of a target and school was nothing but problems. He didn't even have anything to do with the murder, but he got shot anyway. So hmm. after that, he was in the streets full time and decided to become a rapper instead. But Jacksonville is turned up and rappers like Fulio- I ain't gonna lie, I feel, that's what I say, bro. I feel it, bro. Like, it's kind of hard. It's hard to say that, fool, because, bro, you gotta understand where this come from, bro. Just imagine you just going to school. I ain't saying homie just normal because I don't know this nigga. I ain't saying he innocent. I don't know niggas. Niggas can paint the picture and make it seem like they innocent. We all do shit. You get what I'm saying? But just imagine going about your normal day and you just get shot for no reason. You get shot by the murder or something ain't got nothing to do with you. Now y'all nigga got me fucked up. Who, who, who shot me, bro? Because now you got me fucked up. Nigga, just because I'm a good Samaritan don't mean I'm... Don't, don't get it twisted, bro. Just because I understand this mode of life don't mean I won't end one if I have to. I'm self-defense. I will defend my... I, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. So, I feel him, though. Now you got me fucked now on my side. I feel it, fool. You know what I'm saying? But... It kind of hard to even give an opinion, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to give an opinion, my nigga, because... If he got shot for no reason, just in a woman yard, shot, she told you, I'm going to get out of my yard. Ah, right, everybody would have had me. <laughs> I'm coming, hey. Once Bottom got him, ain't the okay. only ones getting caught slipping by the ops. This next rapper Rob, lost his two best friends and his brother in a drive-by that happened after they left the party. Youngin Ace. Youngin Ace is probably the most famous rapper from Jacksonville right now. Even though they all in their own lane, Ace was first to blow and has gotten co-signs from major names in the industry. Hmm. But before making it in rap, Ace was the victim of a drive-by shooting that killed his brother and two close homies and almost took him out as well. In June 2018, Ace, his brother Quan Quan, and his homies, 23 and 4, went out to eat oh, at a steakhouse he, called Wasabi. He's, he's like, they were celebrating he's like, 23's 18th birthday, and Quan Quan just had a birthday as well. After leaving the restaurant, they stopped at a traffic light, and another car pulled up next to him and started busting shots. The car was sprayed with bullets. Ace got hit eight times, but survived. It turns out, he was a lucky one because the other three died. 23 and 4 were two of his closest friends and Quan Quan was his closest brother in age. So the loss hit Ace hard. To make matters worse, a local gun store owner would see Ace's pick on the news after the shooting and call the Crime Stopper hotline. He told him that he saw Ace in his store earlier that day. He ain't buy anything, but he picked up one of the weapons and played around with it. Ace was a convicted felon after being- Damn, little tattoo that nigga. You calling Crime Stoppers, they ain't even got a tip for you, nigga. Y'all little cheese ass just wanted to be involved. They ain't even got a tip. I'm talking about crime stoppers. He picked the gun up and played around with it. Boy, y'all little ass ain't got nothing better. They ain't no tip for this nigga. Being arrested for a 2017 robbery. During the robbery, stray bullets went into another apartment, almost hitting a 12 month old child. So he wasn't allowed to have a gun, even if he was just playing with it. After reviewing the security tape, police arrested Ace in the hospital as he was still recovering from his gunshot wound and mourning the loss of his brother and friends. No one was arrested for the shooting, but a lot of people think it was retaliation for the death of Zion Brown. Brown was Fulio's cousin. He got killed at his house after someone threw a brick through a sliding glass door and fired shots into the living room, hitting Zion and his two sisters. The girl survived, but Zion wouldn't make it. Police arrested a dude named DeAndre Thomas, aka Trey Shorty, who had connections to Young and Ace. He was also a suspect in the robbery that made Ace a felon and was still on the run from police when he was arrested for Zion Brown's murder. This is what really started the beef between ATK and KTA, and they've been going back and forth ever since. ATK and KTA. ATK. KTA. Nigga made a movement with the same letters just backwards, bro. So uh, I know don't nobody know what ATK stand for. But do KTA stand for ATK just backwards? Or he got his own meaning? I don't mean it. I don't know. I ain't in Florida business, bro. So I don't know. But that's unique. Fulio mentions the shooting in a lot of his songs, including the When I See You remix where he printed out a banner from the news coverage of the shooting to mock Quan Quan, 23, and 4. But Jacksonville rappers ain't nah, the only ones get called lacking. This next rapper got shot 35 times, but lived to tell the story. Young Baby. Young Baby. Nigga said he got shot 35 times.
is a rapper from Trenton, New Jersey. Different, he grew right? up on the east side of the city, and at 12 years old, he first got arrested for a robbery. He would end up spending the next two years in and out of jail shit? for gun charges. In his teen years, he said he lost like eight of his friends to gun violence, which is why he had to stay strapped. But on October 24th, 2019, his ops caught him lacking at a gas station and shot him 35 times. The night he was shot, his dad took Shot at 35 times or shot 35 times? The man ain't got a bullet hole on his body right here, fool. Unless this older vid footage, gang, a bully ain't got it bad. That bitch can't even, you ain't even got 35 spots to go into, bro. That's crazy, nigga. He had to get shot at 35 times. Ain't no way this nigga got shot 35 times. What type of shoot his ass with pellets? Like, it's no way, bro. Took him to the studio, but then. What is it? Dropped him yeah, off. He ain't show shit. Friends. So, they was chilling and decided to go to the gas station, which was a popular spot in his hood. He was shopping it up with the owner of the gas station for like 30 minutes. He says he heard a bunch of ambulances heading south because there was another shooting. So he decided it was time to go. As he was leaving, he saw a dude standing right beside him with a gun while two other shooters ran up behind him. First, they shot the dude running the gas station who fell to the ground. Young baby started running, but started feeling the bullets hit his back and his legs. Ah. But he couldn't give up, so he just kept running. Ah. He didn't know what was going on, and the adrenaline took over. A bullet hit his foot, so he jumped up to try to catch his balance, but fell ah. over. Ah. As he was falling, he could still hear the gunshots. He tried to crawl away, but two of the shooters already stood over him while the third shooter was trying to get his friends. He covered his head with his arm and took like six more shots when he moved. I ain't buying it. I'm not buying this shit, bro. I need to see the footage. I'm not buying this shit, man. What fuck kind of Call of Duty Warzone shit is this? This nigga just said a nigga stood over, fool. Nigga stood over this man. He's still here, fool. I ain't buying this shit. Try to catch his balance, but fell over. As he was falling, he could still hear the gunshot. Nah, I ain't buying this shit. Then they shot him a few more times in the chest while yelling, I told you, I told you. After that, they ran off laughing while young baby was bleeding out. He tried to get away, but couldn't move his legs. He later found- Bro, whoever did that to your ass, boy, them niggas is puzzled just as much as I am. I ain't gonna lie, boy, you did the fool on their ass then. I ain't gonna lie. Whoever did that to you, bro, you already got your get back. Cause they, they ran off laughing, thought that, boy, you came back from the dead down there, boy. That man came back from the dead. I'm talking about niggas stood over you and laughed about it and ran. They knew the job was done. And you still here. Boy, you already got your get back. You should've just laughed back. God damn, this boy came back from the dead, nigga. Found out he got shot in the leg 16 times. What the fuck? A lady who worked at the gas station came out and tried to help. Young baby told her to call his mom, but he couldn't really talk because he lost like three teeth when he got shot in the face. He was laying there for about 10 or 15 minutes before the police and ambulance finally got there and rushed him to the hospital. He thought he was done just from the amount of blood he already Oh, I seen it. I ain't seen this interview, but I seen this thumbnail right here. This did Vlad, huh? Oh, so that's who bro is because I ain't know who he was, so I ain't watched the interview, but I seen this little thumbnail. Oh. He says he lost consciousness for a minute and saw his dead friend telling them it wasn't time to go. He was in so much pain, the EMTs had to put him under anesthesia, which put him in a coma for two weeks. When he woke up, he couldn't remember what happened. His mother told him he got shot and had about 45 holes in him and got shot a total of 35 times. But the crazy part is he was only in the hospital for like 22 days and then went to rehab for two or three weeks. He was still in a lot of pain, but the bullets didn't hit anything vital. He eventually made a full recovery. Fuck, what, what was all your vital body parts? What them bitches hiding? Nigga, there's no way you can get hit that many times and not hit nothing vital, bro. Your whole body should be fucking vital. So, someone's looking out for young baby, because even 50 Cent didn't get shot 35 times and just bounced back. But if you thought that was wild, this next rapper got shot by one of his own fans while riding in an Uber. Rico Reckless. Rico. Yeah, because we thought, boy, 50 stories so damn legendary. There's so many jokes about 50 in movies. Boy, your ass just did. Boy, I don't know if you can rap or not, but shit, you probably ain't rapping good enough, nigga, because your ass could be. Because I ain't never heard of that, boy. Go Reckless is a rapper from Chicago who first blew up with the track Hit Him Up, where he took shots at damn near every buzzing rapper. He ran in the home city. And to that He's allegedly from the Black P Stones and has beef with a lot of other rappers in Chicago, including FBG Duck and G Herbo. But it wasn't another rapper who caught Rico lacking. It was actually a fan. In an interview with No Jumper, he broke down what happened. 
He says he was leaving the gas station to hop in an Uber. Some dudes who spotted him in the store try to get a pic with him. While taking the picture, one of the dudes in the group said, damn, you wear that chain in real life? I wish I would have had my move. Pretty much telling Rico, Man, what the fuck, boy? Y'all see what times we in, bro? He would have tried to rob him. Rico was. Man, you gonna tell a nigga you wish you could have robbed him, bro? I ain't gonna lie, you would have died. If that was me, it's over with. Fuck. What he just said, fool? What the fuck, nigga, boy? Boy, now, I don't, now you a threat, bro. Now you, I don't know when you're gonna see me again. Float your stupid ass. What the fuck you just said to me? Like, that's crazy, bro. What the I'm fuck? In the store, try to get a pic with him. While taking the picture, one of the dudes in the group said, Damn, you wear that chain in real life? I wish I would have had my move. Pretty much telling Rico he would have tried to rob him. Rico responds by telling him to do something then, and the dude backs down and says he was just playing. The guy still wanted a pic, but Rico shut him down and said he wasn't taking any more pictures. His homies told him to hurry up, so they got back in the Uber. But once they drove off, the dude started shooting. Rico got shot in the back after they busted the entire back window. The Uber driver started screaming and calling the cops. He brought Rico to the hospital and police questioned him about the shooting. He told him he ain't know the shooter and it was probably just random. Cause in Chicago, it ain't just the rappers you gotta worry about. Them random goons at the gas station is just as dangerous. Rico said he ain't know who did it, but he don't even care. Cause if they really had beef, they would have just blown his head off. But instead, they just grazed his back and he was back in the streets not too long after it happened. What the fuck did I just listen to, bro? Man, if y'all don't get y'all Call of Duty, what the fuck, these nigga playing on God mode and shit? Like, man, you nigga getting shot 35 times, walking to the studio, dancing and shit like this, shit, normal nigga? Homie, then nigga gonna tell me you woulda robbed me, bro? Man, I can't fathom that shit, bro. Imagine a nigga telling me. Hell, yeah, fool, you be wearing them same little chain for reactions? I wish I, I wish I would've had that thing on me right now. So what's gonna happen the next time you have your thing on you? I'm supposed to just let you walk and let it be a next time, huh? Boy, yo dumb ass, boy, you just signed your ass, boy, your ass, boy, boy, the f- Oh, man, y'all different, bro, they had to be a kid. Don't do that. If you a little nigga watching it, bro, just stay in school, but don't do that. Cause nigga, if it was me, and I'm not even trying to act tough, well, I'm just talking out of survival mode. Boy, I would've floated your ass on everything I love. I ain't even gonna show no guns on camera. I would've BOP! Fuck wrong with you, nigga. There ain't gonna be no next time. I'm glad you just let me know so I can protect myself right now. It's over with. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? Y'all crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's crazy. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, man. We going crazy. We keeping all that negative out the air, bro. I just be having fun on here, but I'm real life like this. That's crazy. That's real life how I feel though. I was deep as hell like that. You can't let nobody say nothing to you like that, bro. It's like a nigga telling you, next time I see you, I'm gonna kill you, bro. What? It's crazy. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, go to KD2 Live. We turning up over there. The Supreme KD2. We turning up content like this. We going stupid. Ain't gonna bring with some over there. So, I know they gotta stop the videos. Get it, man.